Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. As you can see from the title, both Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Rainbow Six Siege will not have single player campaigns. That is insane! And, you know, especially considering that Call of Duty and Rainbow Six are known for having pretty good campaigns, in my opinion, and, you're not, and now they're not included. Granted, at least with Call of Duty, if you get the X, uh, Xbox One and PS4 version, you'll get, and, and, and or PC, you'll get the campaign. I, I think I'm, I could be right on PC, I'm not sure. But I definitely know for sure if you have a PS3, PS3 or 360, you won't get no campaign. And that's insane. And on top of that, Rainbow Six um, Siege will have no campaign no matter what system it's on. And that's just crazy. Why? Why is it that um, these game companies are giving us less and less, and want to pay us, and want us to pay more, or or pay for, or pay for the same like the same sixty dollars, but for less content? I don't understand that. You know, what I'm saying, granted, I made one of those few people that play games for the story and multiplayer, but they do exist. I mean, Call of Duty campaigns are fun. I love Modern Warfare's Modern Warfare Four. I love the Black Ops campaigns. They were a lot of fun, so I don't know why they're not going to, like, do it for past gen, considering that a lot of people still have the past gen systems, you know what I'm saying? You know, and and it was Siege is not having, I mean, granted, it's a fun, I, I've seen, you know, for example, Angry Joe playing um, Rainbow Six Siege on Twitch, it looks like a fun game, but unless they, they're going to make it to where you want to go back and play that, and play, and add some new multiplayer modes that are added to to spice it up, it's gonna get boring after a while. It's gonna be like it's gonna go with the way of like evolve. Like, yeah, by at launch, be that hot game that everyone's playing. But then, after a month, two, three, four, five, it's gonna be like nobody. Heck, I heard evolve's gotten so bad now. It's it's like you'd be lucky if five hundred people are online playing that game with you. And that game came out this year, and that is crazy. You know what I mean? And then now, you know, call, and then Call of Duty doing that to past gens, like, it's like basically saying, well, if you want a campaign, you better upgrade. It's like, I hate when just, um, um, companies do that. You know what I'm saying? I know we got to upgrade, but do it do it in a graceful way. Don't be like, uh, sorry, sucks to have, sucks for you being a PS3 or Xbox 360 owner. P the us PS4 and Xbox One people get all, all, all of it. You guys can gimp, sorry. And in Rainbow Six, in Rainbow Six, he's not gonna give give you anything either on anything. Is this is this ridiculous? I'm like, wow. I mean, if that's the case, they should sell Call of Duty Black Ops for thirty dollars, in my opinion. If it's just gonna be multiplayer only, I mean, that's all. That's only to be fair concerned that they're, 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 they're ripping out content um, out of the game, and you're getting less. So you should you should get you should, you should pay less. Same thing for Rainbow Six Siege. So you see, you take it out campaign, which is like a, which is. A, half the reason why I play these kind of games you should put it at half price, thirty dollars. Because honestly, I can't really see at least at least, at Call of Duty. Maybe they can get away with it if they sell it at a lower price. Because I can't see six dollar multiplayer game. I just can't. Because that 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 game is um, you know, had always had campaigns and now it's like no, it's ridiculous. And Rainbow Six Siege, I mean, all they have new more, hope they have more modes to it in my opinion because. At its current state, it's gonna go away and evolve, and just people are gonna get bored and move on to the next big thing. You know what I mean? I, you know, and I'm hoping that you know, Star Wars. Um, I, I'm here. I am hearing rumors that they might put a pan campaign in there. I'm hoping they do because, you know, that's gonna suck. You know, if there's no campaign, I mean, it's such a rich history from films to books. I mean, you can pick anything you want, but, but I hope I hope they do really book a campaign. Ugh, it's it's crazy, guys. How these companies taking out you know content from the game and expect us to say the and expect us to pay the same price. It's ridiculous. Truly, truly ridiculous. And I feel sorry for you guys, especially especially for people that own the past gen systems. They're looking forward to the next Call of Duty. Only like sorry, you know, on multiplayer only, no campaign for you. I'm like, well, you should get. It. All I'm hoping is to be fair that, that you pay less. For the game because this is this is dumb and this is stupid, this is ridiculous. I just how is this? There's a smack in the left blast and people in the face like, well, sorry, not get the full content of this game, or sorry, we're canceling a, a game like Mortal Kombat or canceling or you know Killer Instinct or whatever. 
for the sake of the new systems. So just they should build it off how the old ones work and then, and then go from there. You know what I'm saying? So that everyone can benefit. But, you know, I'm not a person that makes video games. I don't make those kind of decisions, so that's just me. You know, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you happy that there's no campaigns? Are you mad that there's no campaigns? Do you, will you Are you willing to pay the same price for no campaigns in these games? Or do you want a price cut or you're not getting it? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear, the, I'd love to hear, hear you guys' thoughts. In my opinion, if they're going to take a campaign out, fine. But I think we should pay, to be fair, $30. So you're, so you're stripping out half the game. Which only, to me, in my opinion, you should only pay half the price. But that's just me. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this situation. Alright guys, this is Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon.